Hello and welcome to SteamWorld Archive, Volume 27. In this program, we continue our journey around the northwest of England, featuring Richard Greenwood's superb collection of cine film of working steam from the 1960s. At Milnrow Station, 45112 bursts into view on the daily Carlisle to Oldham empty van train. This working will have followed a circuitous route via Helifield, Bolton and Bury. The morning brewery sidings to Royton Junction freight passes Milne Row behind 92016 on the 4th of July 1963. Any loaded cattle wagons were always marshalled immediately behind. Despite its short distance, the Higginshaw Gasworks trips involved some complex manoeuvres and shunting. Just the kind of thing that the 1963 beaching report condemned as obsolete, and which, sure enough, would gradually be phased out. 47202 was still fitted with the tail lamp brackets which were needed to display towards Ashton under line hauling a modest rake of vans bound for Stockport. The cooling towers belonged to Kersley Power Station, and that was the destination for some of these wagons. It was a short journey which required a lot of labour-intensive shunting, as with so many British Railways freight operations in the 1960s. The 062s had been sold to Manchester collieries in the 1930s and passed international coal board ownership when the coal industry was nationalised in 1947. Pug 51232 Rolls a rake of early British Railways owned containers on conflat wagons under the main line. Will straight into New Bailey Yard. At the so-called A-junction crossing Trafford Park Road, a light engine movement momentarily holds up a veteran FINA petrol tanker and a Manchester Corporation Crossley double-decker. A rarity next, as 45622 passes through with a relief to the down Thames Clyde Express, running from St Pancras to Carlisle. Each trip was scheduled to take seven minutes. Although the regular afternoon train on the Barnoldswick branch had gone over to DMU operation as early as 1959, the more...